pH is the quantitative measurement of the acidity or basic nature of a liquid solution. The pH scale ranges from 0 to 14, and 7 is considered neutral. A pH reading of less than 7 is considered acidic, and a reading greater than 7 is considered basic or alkaline. The pH of culture media is very important, because some microorganisms prefer to grow in a slightly acidic or alkaline environment. Most bacteria grow best at a neutral or slightly alkaline pH, an example is tryptic soy agar, which has a slightly alkaline pH range of 7.1 to 7.5. On the other hand, most fungi can tolerate a more acidic pH of about 5.4 to 5.8. Suburodextrose agar is an example of culture media that is formulated with an acidic pH to support the growth of fungal organisms. The measurement was originally used by the Danish biochemist S.P.L. Sorensen in 1909 to represent the hydrogen ion concentration. This concentration is expressed in equivalents per liter of an aqueous solution. All pH readings must be taken at a temperature of about 25 degrees Celsius, which is about 77 degrees Fahrenheit. pH can be read by a meter or with strips of paper that are impregnated with a pH indicator substance. It is important that all readings be conducted at room temperature, which is about 25 degrees Celsius pH readings will change in a colder or warmer temperature. To measure pH with a meter, first make sure your meter is properly calibrated according to the meter's operating manual. Use color-coded buffers of fixed pH, pH 4.01, pH 7.00, and pH 10.01 are examples of buffers that are typically used. Take your probe out of the pH storage solution. Rinse with the ionized water. Turn on the pH meter. Place the probe into the pH 4.01 buffer and gently swirl to remove any bubbles from the tip of the probe. Press the calibration button and then press the read button. You will know the pH reading has stabilized when the pH indicator has stopped flashing and you hear a beep. Remove the probe from the solution and rinse with deionized water over a waste beaker. Place the probe into the pH 7.00 buffer and gently swirl to remove any bubbles from the tip of the probe. Press read to begin the next calibration. You will know the value has stabilized when the pH indicator stops flashing and you hear the beep. Remove the probe from the solution and rinse with deionized water over a waste beaker. Place the probe into the pH 10.01 buffer. Press the read button to start the final calibration. You will know the pH reading has stabilized when the pH indicator has stopped flashing and you hear a beep. Remove the probe from the solution and rinse with deionized water over a waste beaker. To verify that the pH meter is reading appropriately after calibration, take a reading of each of the pH buffers and ensure that the pH value is correct for each buffer with a tolerance of 0.02 pH units. To start the verification, place the probe into the pH 4.01 buffer and gently stir to remove any bubbles from the tip of the probe. Press the read button. Wait for the screen to say stable and take note of your pH value. Remove the probe from the solution and rinse with deionized water over a waste beaker. Place the probe into the pH 7.00 buffer and gently stir to remove any bubbles from the tip of the probe. Press the read button. Wait for the screen to say stable and take note of your pH value. Remove the probe from the solution and rinse with deionized water over a waste beaker. Place the probe into the pH 10.01 buffer and gently stir to remove any bubbles from the tip of the probe. Press the read button. Wait for the screen to say stable and take note of your pH value. The pH meter is now calibrated and the calibration has been verified. Your pH meter is now ready to use. Now you are ready to take a pH reading of your culture media. If the probe is resting in the storage solution, remove and rinse with deionized water over a waste beaker Place the probe into the pH 7.00 buffer and gently stir to remove any bubbles. Alternatively, if the probe is already resting in the pH 7.00 buffer, you can skip these steps. Press read on the instrument. Wait for the screen to say stable and take note of your pH value. Ensure the pH meter is reading the buffer correctly before using it. If the pH is not reading within 0.02 pH units of the pH 7 buffer, 
you may need to recalibrate the meter. Rinse the probe with the ionized water. Place the probe on the surface of the media, being careful not to press down too firmly. You can also use a plastic tube with a bottom cut off to slide the probe through and let the probe rest on the media to avoid adding too much pressure. Press read on your instrument and wait until the screen says stable. Record your pH and temperature. Remove the probe from the media and rinse with deionized water over a waste beaker. Repeat this process for any additional readings. Be sure to use a flat pH probe that will fully contact the media. Thanks for watching this pH demonstration video. Hardy Diagnostics is your complete microbiology supplier. Check out our catalogs in the links below. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tutorials and product videos. Remember to turn on notifications to be notified of new videos as they are released. Hardy Diagnostics is 100% employee owned and has been serving microbiologists for over 40 years. To learn more about Hardy Diagnostics and the products we offer, visit us at hardydiagnostics.com.